Earlier this week, you learned about forms of energy from Mr. Rivera. Do you remember the three forms of energy he taught you? Here's a hint. That's right, you learned about sound, light, and heat energy. Today, we're going to investigate these three forms of energy in things around you. As you watch, I want you to think about things around you or outside that are examples of light, heat, and sound energy, and how energy changes matter around us. You're going to write it in a chart, just like the one I'm showing you now. Pause the video if you need to, to draw your chart. The first form of energy we'll talk about is sound energy. Sound energy happens when things move back and forth. This is called vibrating. We hear vibrations as sound energy. Vibrations sound different based off of pitch. When vibrations move fast, the pitch is high, and when they move slow, the pitch is low. Even when we talk or sing, our vocal cords vibrate to produce sound energy, just like this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Now you try. Put your fingers on your vocal cords to feel the vibrations as you talk or sing. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Another example of sound energy is when I ring this bell, it vibrates to make a sound. Now I want you to think as, I, as you watch how sound energy changes. Remember, this could be something you write in your notes. But when I ring this bell, and I put my hand on it, it's going to stop the sound. Listen again. Now jot down in your notes what you learned about sound energy and how it changes matter. Next, we're going to talk about light energy. There are many forms of light energy. The sun, fires, light bulbs, the reason we can see matter around us is because of light energy. Light bounces off objects and goes into our eyes. I wonder, how does matter change when we add light energy? Remember to write this down in your chart. The more light, the more colors and details we see. The dimmer the light, the fewer colors and details we can see. My cat Milo loves to play with this branch, but I wonder how this will look differently when I turn the light on and I add light energy. Right now, we're in a room without a lamp on, but watch how the colors become brighter when I turn it on. There's Milo, and I can see him clearly playing with, now that I've added light energy. The last form of energy we'll talk about is heat energy. Now we talked about how the sun is an example of light energy, but it's also an example of heat energy. Same thing with a light bulb. When a light bulb is on, it gets very hot to the touch, so you don't want to touch it. Take a minute to look around your house or look around you to find examples of heat energy and write them in your chart. How does matter change when we add heat energy? Let's think about a pot of boiling water. When I add heat energy, the water boils. I can even see the change in matter that heat energy causes because it changes it from a liquid to a gas, the steam. Heat can change the size of matter too. Look at this blown up balloon that I have. What do you think will happen to this balloon if I put it in the freezer for an hour, taking away the heat? Wow, when I took away heat energy, the balloon got smaller. Wow, we learned so much about the forms of energy today. Now it's time for you to show me what you learned. On Schoology, you'll see an assignment under this video for you to complete. Make sure you use the notes you took in this video because they'll be very helpful. I can't wait to see what you learned and have a great weekend.